Hello guys, Nato Ace here and this is going to be my quick thoughts on the PlayStation Road to PS5 the tech spec presentation. So of course I'm gonna say what a lot of people already said. This presentation was meant for the game developing conference or the GDC 2020. Yes, I know a lot of people said that but they said well you know does have to be boring blah 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 I mean yeah in one way it is meant for the developer and the programmer and again what's meant for GDC if you, of course you know what happened but at the same time was it really interesting even for those developers and programmers I gotta say maybe in the middle I was listening to player essence video about it yeah I mean I can understand RGT 85 Maximilian also said the same thing Unless you're an uber spec expert, the general consumer, they're not going to really understand that. So, in that part, my opinion is, it probably could have been done better, a bit more interesting, if it was more, uh, the word I'm, I guess, looking for is dynamic. But, of course, they had to do whatever they could do to try to make it at least fancy. I know it's just probably a green screen with Mark Cerny. Yeah, and second also, Mark Cerny, a.k.a. Dana Carver, because the way he talks. Uh, he's not really what you call, in my opinion, uh, like the official spokesperson. He's just there to explain the tech stuff. Remember, is he a game creator like Miyamoto? Well, he does create games, but uh, to some extent, it's not like a um, guy that whatever pops in and say, oh, I'll create a game. You remember, Mark Cerny is a architect. That's what it is. A what I'm gonna call this? I guess. Uh, console architect guy remember he developed or he designed the ps4 and he's also doing the ps5 remember the ps3 can kuroragi okay so there you go out of the way there all right quick thoughts here one i, I kind of barely know about the spec there but yes it is true it's weaker than the x series however it's not all about power it's all about the game that's the thing yes he did say it that the game's not gonna come out because well it already was said that it's going to be about tech it was going to be about the specs and it was going to be something sort of a gdc conference video i mean the, the disclaimer were there but people just said well at least it make it interesting i know it's not whatever so for me tech part i don't really understand that much but from what i understand yeah it is weaker than the x series but of course probably be stronger than the lockhart or the lower end memory ex um, expansion it has a built-in one, but it also can use compatible external hard drive. So the the best part I heard in credit to Miles 93, if you have a hard drive that you use for the PS4, you can actually hook it to the PS5. There you go, your PS4 game. So yeah, that one's good. SSD ID, basically to el eliminate load time, makes sense. I like that one. Backwards compatibility. They're not even there because the X series has been stated that yes, it will be mostly compatible to the original Xbox 360 and Xbox One games, and of course now the X series or Lockhart or whatever. PlayStation 4 at launch, top 100 PS4 games that mostly played online or when you hook your PS4 online. So right now it's only PS4. No word yet for PS3, which is probably going to be very difficult. Not even PS2, not even PS1. Now, I'll, I'll talk about the PlayStation backwards compatibility. And believe it or not, even the PS4, it has to some extent backward, but that's a different video there. It's a good start, but at least it is fully, well, it's not fully yet, but I mean, it is backwards compatible using a disc. So there you go, but still, really at large, 100 games only, that's it. Hopefully they'll do another one, maybe not for the general consumer, maybe somewhere in June, maybe E3 month, online edition, Nintendo Direct, so whatever. Overall thoughts about the presentation, you have to be a geek to understand it, but I did get the gist of it, I did try to watch it, I, I, it's hard to keep up with the game. Remember, the guy is not a game creator, he creates games, yes he did knack, but it's more about the tech guy, he's a tech guy, he's an architect, trying to make the best PlayStation system ever. Again, right now it is just mediocre for me personally because I'm not a super tech geek. I do like technology, but that was just like, I mean, a bit 
I do my understanding there. So, I mean, hopefully they'll do another one. Maybe, again, like I said, an E3 version or Nintendo Direct. More of the general consumer there. Yeah, so that's my thoughts. Again, not good, not bad. Just somewhere in the middle. It is what it is. At least they gave out the information. So with that, I'll see you guys later. And, of course, I want to do a follow-up on the backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 5. And the blog decided to add something more info about the situation so originally they said that at launch the top 100 ps4 games will be backwards compatible adding more in the long run uh, so they decided to reward it try to clarify it more now they're saying is that the ps5 will actually be backwards compatible for 4000 plus ps4 games and uh, they're trying to be compatible as much as they can before the PS5 launch which of course as, as of right now no one knows when that is so yeah so they did update it they said yeah there will be more it's not just at launch just 100 top PS4 games they said there's gonna be more than that and uh, just be aware they'll give more information in the long run so at least they kind of fixed that so I mean we'll just have to wait and see